Listen, listen. Father's Day is a, is a holiday that's not really a holiday. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is like, I, I show you all this, even by the commercials. Look at the commercials. They'll show you Father's Day. they show you a screwdriver, a motherfucker power tool. Like, go fix some shit. They want to see you to go fix some <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But then, when you when, when Mother's Day come, the shit be like, be like Zales. Because you care. It be different shit like, 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 like niggas don't want diamonds, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll do it for their for their mother, but they ain't gonna do it for their father. Mother's Day come, niggas is getting flowers, cards, all kind of shit, right? What the fuck they get Father's Day? You get a text on Father's Day. That's it. You get a text, nigga. You get a text to make sure that you still know where you should send your check. Yeah, I don't really address a lot of bullshit that's said on the internet, but I'm going to tell y'all this, I'm going to address this, and I'm going to address this fast and quick. I don't accept no apology from no nigga to disrespect my name, disrespect my family, and call me on my name, my nigga. I ain't cool with nothing. I ain't cool with none of that, my nigga. And that's all I got to say on that. Ain't no nigga, I'm not fucking with no nigga disrespect me, my nigga. Come see me in my face. And that's all I'm saying to that right there. I ain't going nothing else, period. I'm going to post this. I'm going to leave it up. Y'all get it off Instagram, YouTube, however the fuck you, you want to. But I ain't cool with no nigga disrespecting my name. But I'm going to keep servicing these kids, though, like I'm supposed to. Now, cap on that. I'll see you, bro. Be my, be my. <laughs> it popped me. I told you. I told you. Bro, still he was about to cross the candy. You see him grab the So, so before we got cool, when I came in the game, you remember when I first came in the game, I had a song, Rumors. Yeah. It was talking about everybody, and then that was my thing. I was saying slick, you know, and um, I had a song where I said something, something about Cam. Oh, he think something, something, because Jimmy think he think he bigger now. I was talking. He ain't like it. I didn't know him. Yeah, we didn't know each other back then. You wanted to know who was this dapper young man from Brooklyn that had the nerve to put my name in his rhyme. <laughs> we didn't know each other. So when did y'all meet? Talk about it. Oh, oh man, it was a standoff and yeah, like a okay crowd. We had a couple standoffs. <laughs> Nothing never happened. You know, we got past it. Are you past it? He brought it up twice. Today. He passed it.
Last times a lot of fucking people wrote us off. The dynasty's over. Draymond's washed. He can't do this. He can't do that. Steph Curry has no help. He can't carry a team. You go down the list. You have to know the disrespect is unbelievable by the way Clay keeps speaking out on it. Clay doesn't talk about any fucking thing. Clay doesn't even fucking talk. Hey man, it's a lot of basketball left to be played. Like I'm not gonna sit here and act like, man, we're sitting in first place in, at game 60. Like, it's game 15. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What I do know is we have a damn good team and we will continue to grow. We will get Clay back. We will get Wiseman back. And those are two more important pieces to what we're trying to rebuild here. And I think if we continue to work, we can give ourselves a real chance. And boy, don't let us win a fucking championship. Because you got to fucking hear it from me. in the trap with all the monsters. They say the same thing. Like, all I did is say what everybody think. That's fair. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. Like, I would drink your piss. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Like, what the fuck? Beyonce's piss, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Right here yeah. in my mouth. What's that? But I'm just saying, like, you got to think. I speak for niggas that's incarcerated, that sit there and watch these people on TV and everything. Mm -hmm. This is what everybody thinking. This is true. I mean, Beyonce is, we always have talks like, 